light tank camouflage rating, an excellent gun and brilliant mobility. The Type 62, the tier 7 premium Chinese light tank has practically everything you want from a tank in World of Tanks Blitz. My name is Martin Dogger and in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how to play it. Yes, welcome back ladies and gentlemen Tanks of Blitz Universe, good to see you all back on the channel. We have popped up a load of reviews on tier 7 tanks lately, the Black Prince, the Lupus, the Nameless, the Hafen and the Adelweiss. And I'm going to add this one as a bit of a surprise package, the Type 62, the Chinese tier 7 light tank. It's already available on the channel uh, in its original guise when it was first released. Um, but yeah, that's, the video is pretty old and I began to play the Type 62 a bit more in the current matchmaking, in the current meta with all the light tanks, with the AMX 1375. This was back then the only tier 7 light tank and it really deserved another look. I decided to drive it a bit because I was driving a lot of tier 7 tanks, obviously, mainly the Black Prince. Um, and I just wanted to get this one sorted again and I kind of forgot how good it is. It is a brilliant tank. It has good pen. This one uh, doesn't go through, through the Black Prince. That's annoying. I only shoot its tracks. But it has everything you would want from a tank, or at least the things I want to get from a tank. It has great mobility, which you would expect from a light. It has a light tank camouflage rating, which means it has the same camouflage rating and it doesn't even matter if you move around or not. It has a good gun with a very OP premium shell a heat shell um, it also it's also known as the heat 62 which is never a good uh, feed for a tank if they are called a heat 54 or a heat 62 but in today's video i'm going to show you three games this one is a uh, top tier game we have a bottom tier game as well and we're going to have a, another top tier game on lost temple and I'm also going to show you how to play this tank and not shoot a lot of heat or maybe even nothing. I'm not quite sure, but so far I've done only AP. Uh, I do get whacked pretty hard from that Helsing. But you can see the mobility is very good. You can just go around targets uh, easy enough. If you whack that turret into uh, enemy's faces, you might bounce the occasional shot. And what will happen if you angle that form plate like you would do with a T44 or a T54? I would advise you to check out my old review on a T54. Uh, um, you can bounce shots on a form plate because it becomes an auto bounce angle again. But you can see what I'm doing here too, the T150 into the power ball, into the thunder ball there. I'm going to track him in place, I think. Oh, it's going to be just a bit late and I have a bit of problems there with my fellow uh, T-150. I wanted to go over there, but he moves forward. Why do you ramp, mate? That is annoying. But I can shoot the T-150 again, move under his gun and move under his gun again and shoot him and then he gets waxed. Thank you very much. It's only 5 on 1. We have one base. Uh, it's 5 on 2. We have still one base and Reds have 3. I'm capturing B, shooting into the butt of the Black Prince. Um, I'm not going to risk anything, he has a ridiculous rate of fire, which reminds me I still have an ace game to post. Um, should get that bond up next week, hopefully. But yeah, all in all, this tank is really good, but you can see what happens if you lose your driver, then you lose that mobility. Um, but everything is just good. It is a light tank, it hasn't got a very heavy chassis, it has a good engine on it, excellent reverse acceleration, etc. And I prefer this one to the Dracula because it is a more balanced ride. It is a brilliant tank. If you haven't got it in your uh, garage yet, I would recommend you get it. Um, but first, stats and numbers, a little bit of armor profile and then some more gameplay. And again, I'm using Blitzhanger to show you the statistics on Type 62. Uh, comparing it to all the other Tier 7 light tanks, as you can see, hit points, view range, fairly good, 260. It's top of the class, but that has, um, the mediums have that as well in this tier, so there's nothing to write home about. But your DPM, 2200, uh, really good, 145 on AP, that's on the low side. Uh, but a quick look into the heat, 250. Glorious, glorious. You don't need a lot of heat, but if you are in uh, bottom tier battles against tier 8, very handy to have that. If you would fit calibrated shells, it goes to 275. And even your AP shells yeah, are goodish, good, goodish. Uh, 152. Not brilliant, um, but useful anyway. 
Um, how, where are we then? Yeah, 200 damage per shot. Brilliant stuff. 85 um, on your caliber. Rate of fire, fairly good bit on the low side. But again, you don't rely on DPM. You are the mobility, the flanker. The spotter, the scout, you are the light tank, which you have to take into account. Your gun platform is not brilliant, but upon rotation, look at this. This is bloody brilliant. It has not got the best aim time. It hasn't got good dispersion, but it's really stable. Your gun depression is 7, which is good for a Chinese slash Russian tank. Uh, most of them get 5, you get 7, uh, easy enough to work that around. Turret traverse, 50 degrees per second, uh, well enough in that regard. Weight, uh, brilliant stuff. But also the traverse speed, look at this. On hard terrain, you're in the middle of the pack, or on medium, you become better, and on soft terrain, you are the best, and you're a very tiny tank as well. And if you then look at the numbers, if you are in a tier 8 battle, your hit points, of course, on the low side, you're a light tank after all. But still your DPM is fairly good. In your heat pan, you are number 46 out of 107. Not bad, not bad at all. And still your um, your traverse speed, look at that. You are the top dog in the, on, on light terrain. You can get out of dodge very easily. Your effective power to weight ratio is really easily, uh, easily the best. It, it is the best in class out of 109 tanks. And even your speed, 12, out of 109, which means 11 tanks are faster, obviously, you have 60, but you get to the top speed very easily. Acceleration is brilliant. So, good tank, really good stuff. Let's take a quick look at the armor profile. You can see it hasn't got armor, <laughs> really. Uh, it doesn't go above 112 uh, maximum. But if you take the tank into a position like this, then that front plate can become a bit of an auto bounce. There it is. See, 180, 190. Juke it around like that. Uh, use the gun depression maximum. Point it over there. And then get it back behind a berm. Then it goes to 300. Your commander may bounce the occasional shot. Your turret may bounce the occasional shot. But it relies on auto bounce angles when it becomes trollish. It can side scrape at a pinch. But I wouldn't recommend it because of overmatching and stuff. But yeah, it can be done. It can be done. Um, what's the best way to play the tank then? Peekaboo, hit and run, circle of death thing. That's what you have to do with it. Don't snipe in it unless you really have shots available and they keep getting available. But use the mobility, get to a flank. That's how you have to play the Type 62. And that's one, what I am going to show you in the next battle. Not the next two battles, just the next battle. But before we go into battle, a quick look through the consumables and the provisions. And as you can see, I'm running actually double fuel to really improve the mobility of the tank. In terms of ammunition, it is 28, 15 and 4 HE. And here we go with the equipment, calibrated shells. I have the improved modules and improved optics, enhanced gun laying drive, the enhanced armor. We have engine accelerator fitted, vertical stabilizers, they work a treat on this tank, the toolbox and the high-end consumables. So without any further ado, let's drop into the battles and the next one is a supremacy game, as you can see on Oasis Palms. Three tank destroyers, or the reds, um, I'm a light tank, we are bottom tier. So this is going to be a very different game to the last one, I'm still running about like a hatless chicken, in a way. Um, with my sort of winter camel, but it looks funky on a desert map. I'm not going... I, I, I don't want to get C. I don't want to get that C cap sorted. I want to spot tanks. I spotted only one. Fair enough. That is... I think... Was it the T26E4? I think it was. Or it was an I6. I don't know. T26E4. Um, so I decided to go away, reset my camel, and go up spotting again. I'm taking a look at the team. Nobody is going to want A cap. There is nobody going towards the B cap. Um, bloody annoying. And only one tank spotted. I want to spot more tanks. Oh, hello. Oh, that's 1,010. There's an IG 152. Run away. Run away. That's the killer rabbit. Run away. Right. What I want to do now is uh, keep tanks spotted. Our IR6 is pushing in. My team is still camping. The rest have captured A. Fair enough, I'm going to take out the IG 152. And the way I'm going to do that is by just keeping him spotted. That's all I want to do. As long as I don't get shot, and as long as he hasn't got any targets to shoot, 
he is rendered combat ineffective. So I keep spotting him up. Can't shoot the boss. He can't shoot the T26E4. Right, I shoot drops off the radar. Look at what I'm going to do here. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm spotted. You're spotted again. And he's still out of the game. So I'm going to turn my tank. Maybe force him into shooting. He's not He's not taking the bait. Right, T32 is down. Oh, he gets shot in, in the side. Is on fire. Right, let's move in. Shoot him. Oh, he hasn't got the big gun. But yeah, we're going to take him out anyway. Pop the adrenaline. One more into the side. Um, I6 is bounces on the butt. <laughs> I don't know why, but he bounces on the butt. Um, that means I can now roll in on a T26E4, and suddenly we are three tanks up. I haven't done a lot. I mean, only 807 damage, but two higher tier tanks taken out. I was hoping to dodge this shot from the boss, but he whacks my engine deck for. 612, which means I have now what is it, 538 left, but I can load HE, that's why I load 4 HE. I move about so much that I I don't really need to use more HE. It, it's only for getting tanks out like this one. I, I, I prefer my tank destroyers to have uh, the bigger shots, really. Um, or a few shots into the butt of tanks. Maybe I could, maybe could lose 2 AP shells and 1 heat. Maybe, I'm not quite sure. Would be something to test out, but all in all, this loadout works for me. 28 AP, 15 heat, 4 HE. And you can see, again, I'm not using any heat at all. And I don't need to, because I'm constantly on the flanks. Um, I kind of misjudged, <laughs> misjudged that situation. I didn't expect uh, the tanks to be there completely. But I can uh, still shoot that uh, Carnarvon, uh, track him in place, and get a very cheeky 4th kill. 2.1k damage, not brilliant, but I wanted to show you this video because I am taking a slightly cautious approach, but still aggressive. I managed to get a Orlix medal, uh, which isn't, yeah, isn't seen a lot. I think I haven't seen a lot of videos where they show an Orlix medal, and you can see the IG-152 and the T26E4, they are donuts, and that is in no small measure due to me being aggressive in terms of spotting but not throwing away my hit points <laughs> in terms of aggressiveness i'm going to be aggressive again here on um, lost temple i want to go to the steps minus seven gun depression is good enough to get on the steps and of course the temple steps is the position to go to on a lost temple if you want to have control of the temple area, you have to get this position. So I am sort of bumping him around like uh, a skippy ball, really. Trying to get a shot in on the VK4503. Uh, doesn't go in, doesn't connect. But I can now shoot that KV. Hello, KV. One shot into you. There's three tanks spotted already. Just a quick reload. He is still watching me, still watching me, still watching me. He's moving forward. Right, I'm going to... Shoot this tank then, the KV-3. No, we're going to shoot the VK. Bounces on the side, that's annoying. The KV-2 takes out the VK-2801. Uh, but I can put a shot into the KV-3. And I have been spotting a lot of tanks at the moment. And I want to hold this position. There are far too many tanks here on the left now. I'm getting shot as well, losing it. Right, right, relocate. Not completely. My team is pushing through the cap area. So I'm just going to go for easy shots now. 751 left. And boy, oh boy, it's going to be a lot more in terms of uh, damage. One shot into the VK. Lovely high roll. 250. Going to shoot the KV again. Oh, I can't shoot him right. My team is on the cap. Quick shot into the T30 for 85. We are two tanks down. Two tanks down. But you can see I'm just being yeah, cautious with my hit points. Cautious with taking uh, shots into the tanks. Lucky, of course, with this player underscore number thingy. Um, but I'm taking out the tanks one by one. I'm not giving uh, giving um, the Reds any any easy shots, really. And I've just enough adrenaline uh, to go through the side of that KV-3 two times. The VK uh, dunks a shot, I think, into the temple steps at the moment. Nope, he doesn't. And you can see what I did again there. I put back into cover, out of sniper mode, quick look around, where is everybody? Going for a track shot on the VK, and again a high roll. I'm, you have that like tank skill. I uh, have it fully maxed out, and I'm getting high rolls constantly because I'm accurate in my firing, and I'm shooting him time and time and time again. And we are losing tanks, just pull back just enough to make him miss a shot. Kill him, I'm on 3k damage already. There's a T-3485. 
Uh, shot into his fuel. There we go. Escher 152 takes out our AMX. That one goes into the building. That's annoying. And there's a KV2 watching at me. Go away. Go away. To the back. Yeah. He fires lovely stuff. I, I managed to make him shoot. Um, we're going to kill that T3485. What's the type? Yes, T3485. And now we're going to start work on the SU-152. That one misses. Well done by the SU. He knew I was aiming for his roof and he moved forward. And what I want to do now basically is take an easy shot on the KV if possible or an easy shot on the SU-152. Um, because I have the hit points to sustain one hit with AP, with not with HE. Uh, now we can start work on the Asher 152. Was just, just taking out the Yard Pump. I'm on 3.7k damage already, and I'm just pumping. It's just pumping the adrenaline here, pumping rounds into the Reds. And this is going to be an ace game. 4k damage. It didn't really feel like 4k until I uh, decided to take a look at the damage counter. And you can see an ace. 1500 base XP on a tier 7 light tank on encounter, Redly Waters, high caliber, uh, the lot. And yeah, this is what you can do with the uh, with the Type 62 as well, because it can be a DPM machine. And I hope I've shown you in three very different types of games how you have to play the Type 62. So we're going to do a quick summary and then we'll wrap up the... Remember, you have the best mobility in class, so put it to good use. Glorious heat pen will save you in sticky situations, but AP will do the job just fine if you play smart and adapt to the match if needed. If you can be aggressive, please do so. You do have the DPM to take care of enemy tanks. But don't throw away your hit points. That's it. My recommendation, get a Type 62 if you can. It is a glorious tank. My name is Martin Dogger. I thank you all for watching and subscribing and catch you all on the next one. Cheers and happy tanking.